YouTube and welcome back to Old Flats. This is War Z. We're at part four now, and we. Uh, I've got an issue, right? And it happens in every game, and I know that. But this game, right, is in technically a testing phase, whether people have paid for it or not. Okay, and you know what the biggest, biggest down point of this whole game is? The community, the absolute assholes that inhabit this game. I, I don't like saying that. I like people and I like to work with within the community and I like to try and help things get better. But, oh, man, I'll tell you what. There are some real knobheads on this, like genuine bellends. And if that doesn't improve, people are just going to get so upset with this game. Um, right, now I've got that out of the way. This is something that I haven't noticed before, and it is a note. So uh, let's read the note. Henry, things are looking up. Six people arrived today from Clearview. Their leader is real handy with a wrench and fixed up my barricade. Something fierce. I think we may actually make it. Where are you? Now. Whoops. Didn't mean to report abuse. Okay, so if if, uh, if notes are involved in here, that means presumably that players can write notes. So if you find paper and a pen, you'll be able to write notes and leave people little clues and stuff. That also is like a, a building block. Can I actually? I can't. I don't think I can take that. But I think what it's what it's making an attempt at doing is like building the uh, the backstory as well. Uh, it's the first one I've read, and it's quite cool to read it, to be honest. So what we're going to plan on doing today is, uh, well, as you can see, I've got a hammer, and now I've tried hitting zombies to death before, and it didn't work well. It didn't work well at all. So. What we're going to do is not try and hit zombies to death. I want to try and find a gun, but I want to try and get you over to a safe point as well. Now, I'll explain those a little bit better once we get there. The only trouble is is that what happens around safe points is people tend to like sit there with their better weapons. They'll sit by the safe point and shoot people just for the sake of it. And it's another example of like a complete morons that inhabit this game. But if we can get over there without any uh, any issues, then then that's cool. I, I think one of the main problems at the moment is there's no voice chat, which means I can't just say to someone, look friendly, or stop shooting, or, or what are you doing, or, or, or anything. I can't say anything to these guys, because uh, the proximity, you have to do it, is a chat. And it's way too slow. Uh, I think it's being, I think if those things are being fixed up for the, uh, for the patch, but... The, the, well, I hope so, because it, it, at the moment it's spoiling the game. I mean, you're going to get idiots in, in every game, but it just seems to be something like really like a chronic problem at the moment. Okay, so that's the first example of a petrol station. So I haven't seen that before. Uh, so that's quite exciting. So they're obviously uh, built into the game already. So when vehicles do pop in, that's, that's, a, gas, that's a fuel tank as well. What's that? Oh, it's a fire hydrant. I thought it was like a kid in like a baby grow. So what we're going to do is head over and try. I tried to. I got into a supermarket, but then I got chased by zombies and I actually managed to escape from a zombie. What goes up there? Nothing. See it's the map. Yeah, I actually managed to escape from a zombie, which I was pretty impressed about. You have to essentially get out of their sight line or run for a certain amount of time. I also noticed earlier that you can't swim yet. Um, that would obviously be a better way of getting rid of the zombies uh, swimming across the river, but they haven't implemented it yet. So hopefully that will be in the new build. But we're going to go and check up here. This is actually where I got killed. Um, there were some zombies aggroing, and then a couple of guys with hammers just came up around the back. I had nothing. And uh, they just started hammering me to death. And when I asked them why they did it, they said it was fun. Um speaks speaks volumes about their IQ that that ex that that one word they fun that, that that just explains to me that they were utter tits anyway I'll see you in a bit hopefully I'll be in a better mood and uh, we'll be over at safe zone right guys so after what has turned out to be a bloody long walk because of this stupid stamina bar we've made it to a safe point well I say we've made it, I haven't actually got in there yet, which means that I'm still pretty vulnerable. Okay, so, as you can see, safe zone warning, not allowed to use weapons, allowed to access global inventory. Okay, so this is, this is 
what they're planning on doing. Now, I think this is also part of the going to be part of the in-game marketplace. Another point of controversy that is well, it's pretty annoying to be honest. I think they're planning on operating this marketplace so that you can you can buy little bits. I know for I know that from the in-game options i'll just show you quickly oh no it's not in here it's in the uh, in the startup screen that you can buy things like chem lights and food and backpacks and hats and other other bits and pieces like that can i not get in here that would be pretty rubbish wouldn't it so basically what we're planning on doing is well i'm gonna have to find a way in there first um Oh man, I'd be really unhappy if I couldn't get in here. So, yeah, the, I mean, the marketplace is going to be... They say it's not pay to win, but, I mean, you can buy sites for your guns and stuff. So that's going to have a huge impact upon upon the PvP. Someone bu being able to buy a gun, and see, uh, a site, sorry, and someone not. But we'll see how it pans out. I'm not going to knock it until I've tried it. Uh, the My main concern with these safe zones is the fact that... They are going to be like honey pots to those people that have nothing better to do than try and wreck other people's days. Um, those guys, for example, like I was saying earlier, the guys that said it was they were just killing people randomly for fun. Yeah, you you might think right that that, that because it's a game, they're not they're this sort of putting on a show. I, I promise you now, right? In a real zombie apocalypse, it's those people that would be the most selfish bastards going. I, I, I have no doubt about that. Whether or not you say, oh, it's a game, there, there's no role play in this. It, there's no there's no stipulation on role play. There's no attempt at role play. It is just there how they are as people. So, quite frankly, these sort of areas are just going to attract loads of people, especially once the high value weapons come out. It's going to be a, a complete case of if you come here you will die so there'll be no point to come to these places whatsoever because as soon as you leave the boundaries of the PvP free zone it, it's not going to work but now that we're here we might as well have a bit of a look about and well they're, they're all raised that everything's raised platform presumably this is like one of those places where they thought we could defend themselves from the air um, Maybe. I suppose that's one option. Uh, they've got their little drawbridges that you can go up and down to stop them coming in. I suppose that would work. Uh, it's pretty well fortified. It's at these sort of places that you expect, expect to find guns. But because there's only three of them on this current portion of the map, so presumably there would be about eight of them total. I can't even go up that bit. Oh, I can. Uh, presumably there would be about eight of them in total. You're going to, uh, you're going to end up with very very easily lootable places now they claim that you could support 200 people on a server if I if there were 200 people on this server but even with the map like trebled in size it would be I don't know five times too many people 40 people is more than enough I would say 50 maybe for these maps and you'd still get a fair amount of interaction and you'd still have the whole solo adventurous sort of feel to the whole thing it would be completely unnecessary in my opinion to go with 200 people um, now when they were saying that they were saying that they could take more than that but they would consider sort of 150 200 people to be the amount you'd want on the server hell no hell no you, if, if they did that it would be a huge fail uh, c combine that with the fact that the servers probably couldn't take that many players anyway so these places are fairly simple at the moment this is obviously alpha build so um, they haven't activated as such but I I mean I quite like their design I just don't I can't see that it's going to be a good idea to have these sort of places unless of course they're save points and you like rent a room um, that would be quite cool I suppose um, have like a little motel type effect but yeah for the time being they're not offering much uh, let's head up here and see if there's any loot I've never seen any loot in one of these things I was actually going to try to record one of these for you earlier but I got shot from outs from as I was walking up to it I was trying to give like an explanation on how the safe zone worked and there was some guy with a sniper rifle that just sat there and just like just shot me well, you saw it, didn't you, in the last video? That I was about—I was about to make an explanation on safe zones, and uh, yeah, 
assholes. Anyway, I think that's probably enough for this one video. So that shows you that. We've gone over the marketplace a little bit. Uh, I don't know a great deal about the marketplace, so I can't go further. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. hope it's been informal and uh, informational. Sorry, not informal. Well, I suppose a little bit informal. But I've been old fans. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope we can uh, get a few more. Oh, just as a, an, an FYI as well, I've moved the uh, settings up to high for you, but at night it still doesn't look great. Everything's very, very smudged, very pixelated. That's not to do with the computer. Um, that's just how it looks on high settings at night. I, I can't get around that, really. Um, I'll try, but I don't think I can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>